Hey guys, welcome to Felting Fandom. My name is Kari. Today I'll be showing you how to make a soot sprite found in Spirited Away and in My Neighbor Totoro. Here's one I made earlier. This is a very easy project, great for beginners, and it will take around an hour to complete. Here's what you need to get started. You'll need a felting mat, you'll need black and white wool, a felting tool that holds multiple needles to speed things up, individual felting needles, a pair of scissors, a keychain, and strong crafting glue. All right, let's get started. First, you need to roll your wool as tightly and smoothly as possible. I'm using some rougher scrap wool here, which you can use on this inner part of the soot sprite. Save your softer roving wool for the outside. You can begin to felt with a single needle, focusing on creating a firm, smooth ball. I also just wanted to mention that Hayao Miyazaki films are some of my absolute favorite animated films. The worlds that he creates are so magical and beautiful. You can expect many more Miyazaki felting projects on this channel. My ball was a bit small, so I'm just bulking it up with a bit more rough carded wool. I'm also switching to my felting tool to speed up the process. Continue to felt until you have a firm ball about the size of a ping pong ball. You can squish the ball to test that it is felted firmly and evenly. Once you're happy with it, we can begin the eyes. Grab a small piece of white wool and roll it into an oval shape. Begin to tack it into place with one felting needle. Shape the first eye. I didn't make mine a perfect circle. You can give your soot sprite a different expression based on how you shape their eyes. I prefer to add the pupils later on because it makes the whole project come to life, but if you'd rather do them now, you certainly can. Try to tidy up any loose white wool. It's easier to do it now than when the soot sprite is covered in fluff. Repeat the process for the second eye. Now we've made it to the main task for this project, adding the fluff. Take a small handful of your black wool, but don't cut it yet. If you put your hands far enough apart, you should be able to pull the wool apart. Using this method, try to shorten the wool as much as possible. Now we'll cut the wool in half. Take a small pinch from one of the halves of wool and twist it in the middle. Then line it up between the eyes of the soot sprite. Securely felt the middle twisted portion of the wool so that you can't pull it away. Just be careful that your wool is fully attached before moving on, and also make sure you don't stab your fingers. Brush the wool out of the way and attach the next portion of wool, focusing on filling out the area around the eyes first. Once you've outlined the eyes, brush all of the wool forward and start to fill out the rest of the body, working in a circle until you make it to the back. As you work, occasionally brush the wool in different directions to check for large gaps. Small gaps are okay, but you don't want any big ones. Once you've covered the whole body, it's time to uncover the eyes. Brush the wool out of the soot sprite's eyes so we can attach the pupils. To make the pupils, roll a very small ball of black wool and tack onto the whites of the eyes. 
As with the eye whites, you can change the soot sprite's expression based on how you place the pupils. Trim any loose fibers. Repeat for the second eye. Now it's time for a haircut. First, focus on shortening the wool in the center of the face so the soot sprite doesn't look quite so grumpy. Next, fluff up the wool around the body and begin to cut it into a more round shape. Don't worry about the wool being all the same length. We're going for a scruffier look. Pull away any wool that has come loose. On to styling. Gently pinch a small section of wool and roll the ends together to create a spiky look. Repeat this across the rest of the soot sprite. If you want to attach a keychain, take one felting needle and make a hole in the top of the head. Fill it with glue and use a pair of pliers to help close the jump ring on the keychain. And we're done! Thanks so much for watching guys. Please subscribe for more geeky needle felting tutorials. Let me know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see. Bye!